Hello, I'm Philip and I just want to explain the absolute basics of SEO. So first of all you do keyword research to make sure you know the actual words people use to search for your product or service. Uh, don't guess, but if you guess you, you could get it wrong. If you use the Google Keyword Tool or Word Tracker, you, the Google Keyword Tool is free, or you can use a, a more powerful tool called Word Tracker if you want to pay. So let's see what they look like. This is the Google Keyword Tool, and what you do, you type a search phrase in there, and we're, we're going to search for Yorkshire pudding. We're going to make a web page about Yorkshire pudding. Um, so you type Yorkshire pudding in there, which is our search phrase, and then you just click the search button and Google tells you how many people search for the, this search phrase in the last month. So it tells us here that Yorkshire pudding has been searched for 90,000 times locally, that means in England, it's been searched for 200,000 times worldwide in, in a month which is really good, it's a lot is that. Um, and it also gives you some other similar search terms. So there's easy Yorkshire pudding, Yorkshire pudding recipes, Yorkshire pudding batter, Yorkshire pudding mixture, so what you do, you find um, things that have got quite a lot of people searching for and that have got a low competition. This is how many people are competing to be number one uh, for, the, for this particular search phrase. So that's what you want. You want uh, high searches, a lot of searches and low competition. And you use the keyword, the Google keyword tool to do that. If you just search for the Google keyword tool, it's, it's easy to find. Right, where to now? Right, so in, in our example, we're going to make a web page about Yorkshire pudding. So, once you know the search terms that people actually search for, you start to make your web page. And now your web page needs to be genuinely useful to the person who finds it. It's got to genuinely solve the problem that the, the searcher had when they searched for your page. It's also got to be fast loading easy to scan for specific information it's got to look inviting with nice photos graphics and things so it so when people see it they think oh that looks nice they're more in, more likely to actually read your page if, if they think it looks nice but when the searcher finds your page they should think oh good i found just what i was searching for that's what you want them to do you want to make a web page that they that's exactly what they want so once you have a web page that deserves to rank well for your search terms you put your search terms of keywords, in our case it's Yorkshire Pudding, you put that these words in the page title, in the page headlines, in the copy on the page, the body copy on the page, in list items, alt tags, images have a tag called an alt tag, and you can put uh, your, your search terms in the alt tags. Um, when you link pages together, one, one web page to another, Put your search term, in our case Yorkshire Pudding, in the actual clickable bit of the text. The bit that you actually click, um, you want to put the, the search term in that because that Google can then understand what the, what the link is, uh, is going to take them to. And then you need to write a good description that makes people want to visit your site. So, we'll just have a look. I'll just show you the, the really basic web page. This here is the title tag at the top there, that Yorkshire Pudding Recipes is the title. And because we want people to um, to find our page when they're looking for Yorkshire Pudding Recipes, we've put Yorkshire Pudding Recipes in the title. The title tag is really important. And then you've got headlines, this is the H1 which is the biggest headline and we've put our Yorkshire Puddings um, search term in there. And we've put in the smaller headlines, these is heading 2 and heading 3 further down the page. Now, if you look at these links, you link to other pages about Yorkshire pudding, and then Google thinks that there's more information to be had. They think that you're making a, a really useful page. But when you link to other pages about Yorkshire pudding, make sure you put the term, the search terms, Yorkshire pudding, like this is Yorkshire pudding his history, Yorkshire pudding recipe, Yorkshire pudding ingredients, Yorkshire pudding tins. Make Google think there's a lot of information there all about Yorkshire puddings. That's the plan. You want Google to think that um, you're making, um, your website is, is really useful. And you do that by making sure that Google knows your search term is in, in these clickable links. So let's see where we got to. All right. 
Um, once you've made your web page and it's on the internet, what you want to do is to get other people to link from their website to your website. But, but you you want them to put the the search term in the link they use in the clickable part of the link, and you want to get relevant to your industry sites to link to you, not just anybody. People who are relevant to your industry, and you want trustworthy websites to link to you. Um, and this is how your title and description will look in Google. Um, and be because we searched for Yorkshire pudding, and the Yorkshire pudding is in the title and the description. Google has boldened the text. Well, I think that's more or less all we need to know. So, I hope that's helped you, giving you a bit better idea about what SEO is. Um, well, I'll leave it there because I don't want to take too much of your time. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.